Hello, my name is Mary Ann Steidinger. I'm with Invensys, and I'm going to be discussing today improving operational performance in a plant from a software perspective. My background is I've been in industrial automation for over 25 years, and I've been working for Invensys for about five years. My responsibilities are product marketing, and I'm responsible for the Avantis, SimSci, and Wonderware software brands. These products bring productivity to manufacturers, and that's the segue in which I'm going to speak today. I'm going to talk about three products, and it's really three types of software products. MES, or Manufacturing Execution Systems, EMI, or Enterprise Manufacturing Intelligence, and workflow. And the first thing I'll discuss is what are they? MES is a software product that basically provides tracking, tracing, and genealogy, so really the as-built state from raw materials through finished goods for a manufacturer. So it, it enforces workflow, it enforces different states of manufacturing, it enforces all of the data capture, and quality and performance and operational information surrounding a work order that you're executing. So an MES would be used in industries such as food and beverage, water, high tech or industrial, pharmaceutical, chemical. So any of those industries that, again, start with raw materials and go through finished goods. So with MES, it will help you improve your yields, throughput, uptime of equipment, quality of product. Normally, when you look at MES, it's integrated into a plant's other software system. So for example, you might have integration to an ERP, or Enterprise Resource Planning System. The reason is, is that the MES is actually executing the work order, but all of those sales orders are being built by ERP, which is really the business system. So HR, finance, would have manufacturing and even some quality information in it. So an MES could tell you the consumption of the material, when that happened, who did it, which lines, so that an ERP can go and order more materials or understand the quality or understand the status of the work order or the sales order to give the customer delivery information. Now I'll talk about EMI. EMI, or Enterprise Manufacturing Intelligence, is really a reporting product. It uses a dashboard, so if you're familiar with business intelligence, that also has a dashboard that's fed from a company's business and other operational systems. Well, EMI is similar in that, in which it can take data from a, date, from a plant or even business database. So for example, from a plant historian or a plant MES system um, or even a plant uh, ERP system. And what it does is it takes data and it puts it in relationship to one another. We call that putting it in context to one another so that you can get reporting on issues or events that make sense to you. For example, energy use by plant, by product line, or energy use by plant, by, by production line, or energy use by plant, by shift. So the idea is that you're taking these discrete bits of data, you're putting them in context to one another, and then you're presenting it graphically on a dashboard. So it becomes a very rich an intuitive and interactive way of presenting that plant data. The reason that companies use EMI is because it gives them a better indication of events uh, that are going on within the plant or within their enterprise. So it allows you to compare things such as plant-to-plant -plant productivity or even region-to-region -region productivity or shift-to-shift. So it gives you kind of that big data feel when it comes to an operating plan. The interesting thing about EMI is it doesn't have to be used just for manufacturing. So we've sold EMI to, for example, water and wastewater plants or even government entities that may need to look at energy usage by site. 
So with EMI, companies are able to create these relationships, sustain them, so keep them in relation, keep the data bits in relationship to one another, and then in near real time update that data as the events occur. So it always gives you the freshest and most recent view of those relationships. And that's what EMI is. The last thing I'll talk about, kind of the third leg on the stool, so to speak, is workflow. Now, workflow has been around a long time. When you talk about workflow, a lot of people equate it to BPM, or business process management. And essentially what it is, it's a business rules enforced way of executing a procedure or a process. So with BPM or workflow, you have players, in other words, people or entities that are involved in executing that process. So for example, you could have a corrective action procedure, and it could be triggered by an event, and once that event occurs, there are people and systems that are required to remediate that event. Perhaps you need to go and recheck the lot. Maybe you need to take a quality test. Maybe you need to bring that, that data to a board who has to decide whether or not to pass that lot or to scrap it or to rework it. So all of that can be enforced by workflow. The other important thing is that workflow also becomes a system of record. So not only is that actual procedure enforced, but the outcome of that procedure is stored so that if you need it for compliance or regulatory issues, it's there for you. So Invensys has been using workflow in conjunction with their manufacturing execution system and their enterprise manufacturing intelligence. And that's why I call it the third leg of the stool, because the three of them are very complementary applications that really help overall to improve a plant's operational performance. Because not only can MES enforce a, pr a process and track all of the data as that raw materials or finished goods transformation is occurring, but EMI can be reporting on it from a more macro perspective, and workflow can help to enforce the different steps. So if you need to take a quality test, MES will say, take that quality test. But if you enforce it by workflow, it would not only have the specific person, but the type of test and the forms that captured that sign-off and also the integration to the other applications. So it's really a way in which to streamline and standardize and make your plants more compliant. So that when you look at big data for manufacturing, manufacturing has a number of different databases that are within it. So if you look at, for example, a human machine interface, it has a real-time database. You look at a data historian, that's time and event stamped data that's normally very, very high volume. So a data historian could have one or two million what we would call tags or, or bits of data in it. So very, very large real-time data. There may also be an MES that has its transactional data. There may also be ERP that has that business data. So all of those are kind of discrete databases sitting in their own environment. Well, the idea behind big data is that you take all of those different data and you can make some rational decisions on them. So the big data is really there to help you be more responsive to events that occur, be more responsive to the types of policies and procedures that you need to enforce, helps you with remediation should things go wrong. It'll give you basically leading indicators. So rather than having to deal with the event once it occurs, such as a quality breach, and then have to go through an entire recall procedure, you can start to see events that occur, and you can put those, those baselines in place and those alarm and event levels in place so that you can be more predictive and more, re, more proactive in, for example, managing equipment uptime or managing quality breaches, 
or managing recall events or managing corrective action events. So these three products, manufacturing execution, uh, enterprise manufacturing intelligence, and workflow, all can work in concert with one another or all can work separately from one another and help you to improve operational performance. Thank you.